Teeth, it was a snake, innit? I'm still feeling like crap. I'm still ill. But I'm a dedicated YouTuber, innit? Trying to get on the grinder daily uploads and a little cold. Ain't gonna stop me. Oh, no. My throat might be dying, but I'd rather my throat die than my channel die. So, it's a big decision to make, innit? That and I haven't really got anything to do. So, here we are. Anyway, over the past few days, you might have seen Tifu has decided to sue FaZe Clan. The people who signed him and the people who made him. I didn't know who Tifu was before that. And I think that's the case for most of you lot as well. But regardless, he's been like, they're taking 80% of all my money. I've got no moolah because they've got it. I only get 20% and that's just bullshit, innit? The contract's been released and there is a certain part of the contract where FaZe Clan do take 80% of the funds. But I think Tifu were trying to make out that it was 80% of everything and that's just not true at all. The other day, Keemstar made a drama alert. He has got the best beard on you. YouTube. Like, I would kill for a beard like that. I mean, he might look like a bit of a gnome, but that's a masterpiece. I'm sorry, he just is. And basically, after all this news had come out that Tfue's decided to sue FaZe Clan, Big Boy Richard Banks went on an interview with Big Boy Keem, didn't he? And basically just denied everything. I'd say FaZe Banks is a very trustworthy person. I don't remember a time where he's lied about anything. And he's been in drama quite a lot, like the whole Jake Paul thing and the Barley House situation. And he's just very open and honest, so I'm more likely to believe what he says. And I think if he did mess up up, he'd say something. But after he went on drama alert, he uploaded his own video explaining exactly how it, the situation's made him feel, which I'll give you a hint. He don't feel right good about it. Like he was saying that him and Tifu had a very strong friendship. It was almost like they were brothers because they both tell each other things that they might not feel comfortable telling other people. Facebook pointed out that Tifu told him stuff that he hasn't even told his actual brother. So it shows how close they were. And Tifu's just decided, Do you know what? That shit don't matter, does it? My contract's a bit shit. So yeah, you can do one. It's Turns out, Face Banks, right from the start, was trying to renegotiate his contract, which just makes matters worse, doesn't it? After this video, Tifu made a two minute response, basically saying, release the contract. He started a hashtag, and it got trended on Twitter, so this whole situation is big, as you can probably tell. And then the actual FaceCon YouTube channel put out a video about the contract, and then the contract did get released. So yeah, now you're all caught up to date. Let's have a look at drama alert. Oh my god, Tifu suing FaZe. We have all the details. We have all the new information. This is unbelievable. Now, I didn't want to make another video until we heard directly from Tifu. So this is the thing now. After all the James Charles drama, you can't make a video on a situation unless you have both sides of the story. Because Jesus Christ. Everyone was like, James Charles is cancelled, he's over. And it turned out Tatty just lied. And last night we did. Tifu uploaded his response to YouTube titled, My Response, Hashtag, Release the Contract. Jesus Christ, I didn't realise it had that many dislikes. People clearly aren't too happy with him. Uh, Tifu's response was only two minutes, so I'm going to play it in its entirety. Roll it. Yo, what is up, guys? I'm going to keep this video really short and to the point. First, I want to say um, all the stuff about the gambling, the stunts, the drinking. I told my lawyer I did not want that in there, and he will do exactly just that. He will take it out. So that is no worries. That is out of my way. What I really want to talk about is the main point. I never wanted to upset anybody. I never wanted to bring that stuff in. I never wanted to get anybody to get emotional because this isn't about that. Yeah, but surely you'd have known that that were going to happen anyway. Your friends are also the ones that employ you. Your best friend is literally the owner of the company. Like, you should have known that they were going to take this personally. This is about me and this contract. This contract that I signed when I didn't know any better. I'm an idiot. I should have never signed it in the first place. This three-year contract. <sighs> What is in this contract is so bizarre. It's so fucked. I wish you guys could see this thing because I can't even fathom it. This contract basically allows FaZe at any point in three years to just take all my hard earnings and all my hard work and just strip it. Over 49%, over 79%. These, what is in this contract is insane and that's not even the worst parts. And what I'm trying to do here is just serve justice to the esports community, the esports industry. These kids are getting ripped off. They're getting taken advantage of. These contracts are not okay, and this needs to never happen again. See, the thing is, this contract, it's not a good contract. I'm not going to lie to you. And I'd imagine a lot of people who signed the contracts in esports are probably getting ripped off. But at the same time, you've got to think, these esports teams are literally making your career. They deserve something back. Granted, not as much as they get it. But if it wasn't for this contract, no one would have known who you are. And FaZe Banks has said that he's tried on numerous occasions to get the contract changed. And there's tons of people in contracts 
this bad, just like me. And I'm the first person to stand up and say, this is, this is not right, this is not cool. And if only you guys could see what is in this contract. I can't disclose what is within this contract, but FaZe Clan, please release the contract for the public to see. Let me show the public. Just give me permission to show these people the truth, the truth that is within this contract. That's all I really have to say. Show the contract, FaZe. Release the contract. Everybody, hashtag release the contract. Release it, please. So after that, FaZe Banks were like, ah, I'll release it. I ain't got no to hide. And then somehow it just got released anyway. And it wasn't FaZe Banks that did it. But yeah, it's not a great contract, not gonna lie. Let's have a look. For brand deals brought in by FaZe Clan, Tifu would get 20% and FaZe Clan would get 8 But right, that's the only thing where FaZe Clan get 80% of what Tifu make. And I mean, it is a lot. But at the same time, FaZe Clan are the ones giving him these brand deals. They're the ones providing the opportunity. All Tifu has to do is complete the brand deal. Like, whatever the brand wants him to do, he does that and gets 20%. But again, 80% for something like that is way too much. For in-game sticker merchandise like the creator code, Tifu would get 50, FaZe Clan would get 50. Brand deals brought in by the gamer, 50, 50. Appearance fees, 50, 50. And for prize money, Tifu would get 80% and FaZe Clan 20%. So yeah, as you can see, not the greatest contract, but this contract was created before anybody knew who Tifu was. It wasn't a guarantee they were gonna become a massive star. Keystar does an interview with the CEO of FaZe Clan and he says that this was just literally a starter contract. As Tifu progressed, they'd offer him more and they'd offer him a better deal. I'm not gonna show the interview you can go watch it yourself if you want to i don't want to bore you but basically the ceo of face kind of keeps going on about how many times he tried to renegotiate tfue's contract with him and his dad has a very large influence on it he talks about how his dad said that he was briefly in the like entertainment business so he understands this sort of thing but it seems like he's influenced it too much and has almost pushed tfue to do this but then this is the maddest part of the video we started to figure out and we started to get more information on why Tifu was doing this. It wasn't just about the contract, because you gotta remember, yeah, it's a bad contract with FaZe, but FaZe offered to fix this. I mean, they offered him a million dollars a year and they would take none of his money and he refused to sign. They offered him a million a year on top of everything that he already made. Percentages go out the window. They don't make anything from him. All he does is represent them. And he said, no, that's ridiculous. Just imagine how much money it would be making. He's making a lot already, but he'd be on so much more. I don't think it could get much more fair. And in the interview, the guy said it got to a point where he took the money out of the equation and just did everything so that he could keep Tifu on the team. Because of how much they appreciated his abilities and how much they wanted him to represent FaZe. So, so why does he want to leave FaZe so bad? Well, another Fortnite pro player reached out to me and told me that Tifu wants to create his own org. So I reached out to Tifu's brother, Jack, and this is what he had to say. Tifu wants to create his own org, work with the brands he wants, and overall be free to change the face of gaming forever. FaZe refused to allow him to do this. Tifu creating his own org is in his best interest. Emotions and friendship aside, the corporate side of FaZe wouldn't let that happen. Turner had no choice. This was the only option to get out of his contract to make his plans and dreams a reality. Banks might be upset, but Tifu doing this is gonna help a lot more people that it hurt. This just might be the snakiest thing I've ever seen on the internet, and I'm not even just saying that. Tifu's just stabbed them all in the back, used FaZe, so he can get to a point where he's good enough and he's got enough money to create his own group. He didn't care about the friendships that he'd made along the way. Left them behind, don't need them no more. I'm making my own little group, me. That is a massive slap to the face to everyone in FaZe Club. And to make matters worse, he kept declining all the deals they made because he had no interest of staying in FaZe. He just wanted to leave and create his own organization. And obviously he signed the contract like he's legally bound to FaZe Clan for three years. You can't just leave. Like, it, it don't work like that. So he sued them instead. Wow, okay. This is starting to become the ultimate betrayal, okay? Because, I mean, it's just without question, FaZe Clan helped make Tifu. They did. They promoted him. I mean, Face Banks is like getting a tattoo of Code Tifu on his leg, making a video of it, putting it out to millions of Face Banks' fans. I mean, if 1% of Face Banks' fans or Face Clan fans use Code Tifu, 
They FaZe Clan, that means that FaZe Clan literally gave Tifu millions of dollars. That's how much money is being made here. So the fact that Tifu wants to leave and make his own org is, in my opinion, the ultimate backstab. Yeah, it literally is. He's literally just used FaZe Clan to gain popularity so he can get to where he wants and achieve his dream. Wasn't the friendships and all the money you were making enough and now you've gained all that popularity because of them. You're using it to your advantage. You've got the clout and now you're just going to leave them. Anyway, I'm going to end the video there. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, leave a like, subscribe, and leave a comment because why not? Merch is linked in the description as well as my Instagram and my Twitter so go and follow me on there. If you've got any video suggestions, leave them in the comments and I'll see you guys later.